sponsored by Loot Studios. Today, we're gonna compare the best home 3D printers I've ever had the chance to try, the Frozen 4K and 8K Mini, and compare that to a 100 times more expensive printer, the 65,000 euro DSW029 3D printer, and see how these home printers actually hold up to the best of the best. Lately, I've been going ham on 3D printing, like, printing a lot. And one of those reasons is because I made my process of 3D printing a lot better, but there is one reason that I haven't actually shown you guys before, and that is because I made my own fantasy world. Like literally an entire fantasy universe. And I spent my entire like free time over the last year just building up this entire world and I've talked to some of my all-time favorite illustrators and sculptors to help me make figures. So far we've made nine of them and they're amazing and today I'm going to show you one of these. I've got five 3D prints. We've printed three of them ourselves, these ones. And then we have Eme Molero who has printed on his DSW029. This is a 65,000 euro laser 3D printer. And then we have Mindwork Games who sent me a master test from their Solus Pro 3D printer. This one costs 10,000 euros. So I'm super excited to compare these. But do you guys know Warhammer? <laughs> Who are even Warhammer? I don't know. The official Warhammer channel have 508,000 subscribers. And I do believe this is the year where we as a community become the biggest hobby channel out there. So with your help, we can take down the titan that is Warhammer with just a simple click of a button. And the miniature that we're comparing today is one called Sion and Dia. They're from the Drakonsa orcs, a race of highly intelligent orcs. But it's not all brains, they're also packed with muscles. They have some of the most intelligent inhabitants of Sona. One of them is the shaman Brook, who rides his giant owl. We also have the super wise druid Gwonar, who has his own following of animals who he can speak to, who helps him out on his daily quests. And this little guy, Sion, he's kind of an outcast from the orcs because he likes to hang with the tiny goblin who has on his back. This, this is Dia. And these two prefer to be by themselves, but when duty calls, they have the brawls and the brains to help out. And this is just one out of nine figures that we made, and I would like to say this is my favorite, but honestly, there's eight more who I like just as much, so you have something to look forward to with awesome minis. Okay, first of all, I would like to say that the 4K printer is already a really good printer. And this is printed with the M70 resin. And the reason why I like this resin is because I almost get no layer lines and it's still sharp. But is it as sharp? I guess we'll get to that. There are some details here that I feel is kind of soft and disappearing. And some of them we have is on the inside here of the axe where we can't even see the details that's supposed to be on the, on the axe. I still feel like this is quite close to what I would be able to paint like a box art on. I feel like some of the details are not quite as sharp as I would have liked it. Especially I feel like around this area here around the head on this part here. You can also see that down here that some of these details are a little soft. So there's quite a few of areas where we don't have any like layer lines and stuff like that but the sharpness isn't quite quite as sharp as we would need it to be to be like a, a master print. I think we're gonna spray this one gray so it's easier to compare to to the 8k printer stuff. Okay, so we're back. We primed it and we got two prints done. I haven't actually looked at these, so I'm really excited. This is from the 8K. We've done two prints, one with 20 microns and this is 50 microns. So let's see how they compare. Wow, oh my God. Just in general, this is so, so, so super sharp. Both of these are fantastic. On most printers I've had, when I increase the resolution, they feel softer, but you have less layer lines. But I don't have like any layer lines on any one of these. The one with the higher resolution is actually sharper, which means that the said resolution is probably really, really good on it. So just a few things like we can see directly, there's, there's quite a bit of difference. Even though the 4K printer is amazing, there's a few parts where I see a big difference. And one of them would be up here among the helmet, like the detail just looks so much sharper around the edges, these like patterns, this headband. Another one of them would be, as I mentioned before, down here on the axe. 
these holes are not nearly as sharp as they are on this axe. The difference might not seem as big on camera, but for the, like, the naked eye, there's just something, something that makes it feel sharper. The other one would be here around the teeth of the orc, like in, in, on the necklace, like the sharpness there, and like you can see the necklace is just so much sharper. Those little extra like three, four percent of sharpness does a lot, I would say. You can see it on the teeth as well, that they're a lot thinner, like more well sculpted from the 3D printer. The quality difference is obviously, I think it's big. For the, for the naked eye, it's big. I can't imagine it's gonna see as big of a difference on the camera, but in terms of quality, I would say this, I would definitely be able to paint like a box art using only this print. This one is, I would say it's good enough, but it feels soft on some places. Oh, here actually you can see quite a big difference around the eye under the helmet here. That would be the biggest difference, but in terms of like quality prints, it's two fantastic printers. But yeah, this one definitely is a bit better. So let's bring out the other prints. Speaking of 3D prints, Loot, who is this week's sponsor, I've talked about them so many times before. It's no secret that I actually love their products. I've already talked about their stuff and recommended their minis in videos where I'm not sponsored by them. So I thought this week, why not just talk about my favorite things about Loot. Number one, on top of having awesome looking minis, they make terrain pieces. And not just lame ones, like really freaking cool ones. So this month they have an entire cathedral. And on top of that, they have made like a bunch of scatter terrain pieces and they go all out giving extra stuff to their followers. Secondly, they've done something for painters that I don't think anyone else do. All of their characters they've pre-supported and scaled to 32 and 75 millimeter scale. On top of that, all of the heroes are made into busts. It's just awesome. Thirdly, they have probably the best welcome pack. So if you join this month, it's a total of 70 different miniatures and assets. See, there's no reason not to join loot if you own a 3D printer or have a friend with one. I put all of the links down in the video description and honestly, I could not be any happier with having loot as this week's sponsor. So these two are from professional printers. This is the $10,000 printer. Solus Pro. Let's start with just the head, I guess. Okay, so again, there's just something about the clarity here. Again, we're going into like tiny, tiny details, but if you look around the head here, like this just has a little bit more depth to it. It feels a little bit sharper in the center here. The difference isn't huge, but there's definitely something there that, that makes it feel sharper. Let's bring out some other body parts. <laughs> the axe would be interesting. So if we check the inside of the axe where we had some issues with the first print. Okay, well, here, uh, this is kind of fascinating. I actually feel like the 8K printer did this better. Yeah, it also feels almost a bit sharper. That's actually fascinating. I did not see that coming. The resolution, you have like no loss of detail. You have no layer lines on either of these prints. Both look fantastic. On the other side here, you can see like this tubing here. That one actually looks sharper on the the Solus Pro. So it looks like they're better on some parts and worse on others. But yeah, fantastic print nonetheless. See the last body parts. So we had two big parts uh, that I was a big fan on the 8K printer. One of them were the teeth on the necklace. Again, it almost feels sharper on the 8K printer. That's very fascinating. Wow, okay. Very surprising. And then we have the, the belt buckle. The skulls were a big part of the 8K printer and these look fantastic on both. I would not be able to say with the bare eye which one I, I prefer here. Maybe that the Solus Pro has the, the edge on this one. I don't know, I'm just surprised that a $600 printer like the Frozen 8K can hold up to the $10,000 printer. Yeah, it's 20 times almost cheaper. The last one, I guess, we gotta compare. Let's start with the body, because the teeth, I felt like still the 8K printer had been the best. So let's see here. <laughs> oh, oh my freaking God. Amy Molero, what have you done? Okay, so like, I don't even know what to say. Like, you probably can't see it through the camera, but the difference between these tiny teeth here is huge. Like, it's got a completely different sharpness. It feels like something's been cut with like the sharpest knife you could ever find. Like, the edges are so fine. Like, everything is super duper sharp. Nothing has this sort of like soft feel to it. You'll be able to paint every detail at its finest. That is so fascinating. I don't think I've ever seen it, this sharp 3D print. Oh, let's see these other parts. The helmet, again, like, it's a another step up from the Solus Pro. This is crazy. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. I didn't really think about the nose, but now that I see this master print, like the nose is so much sharper. Let's see it. the belt buckle as well. <laughs> wow. 
like this sharpness, I don't know. Like th this one, I would say out of all of these prints, the, the 8K came the closest. I don't know how Frozen did this, but it like it's almost up there with, with the $65,000 printer. Look at this master print. I, I like I've never seen a this sharp 75 millimeter figure. Well, I know we're definitely gonna use this for the master prints. This is insane. And like the fitting is just so good. There's no gaps on anything. Wow. Well, I'm I'm excited to get started painting, that's for sure. Thanks all the patrons for sponsoring this channel. If you want to help out, you can either join the Patreon, pledge a few dollars every month, or you can check out the links in the video description. And if you want to help out in other ways, maybe you don't have the chance to be a patron we have all the tools we use in videos linked down in the video description one of those is the frozen printer and if you pick them up we get a bit of kickback from the brands or from amazon wherever we have the affiliate links so it's a great way if you want to pick one up to follow one of my links super thankful for that yeah i think that's it thanks to loot for sponsoring the video have a great day bye bye